share with you some tips on how to make math easy. I'm Ms. Borromeo. I'm an Asian teacher teaching math and English here in America. I've heard a lot of students saying, Miss, I don't like math because it's hard. So teachers like me are having difficulty teaching math because of this student's mindset. Well, there should be a solution about it because you can never go away with math. It's a part of our daily life. I had been a student too and had faced the challenges of math. However, one thing I did, I have set my mind that I need to overcome my fear in math. I have to win the challenge. I know most of you, most, of, most students are fond of online games or other challenging games. So that's the same thing with math. You have to set your mind that you can do it. You should overcome the challenge and win the game. If you know how to play the game, you win. So likewise with math, if you know the basic concepts, you know the skills, you can do it. So let's talk about these tips. First, excel in your basic concepts. What does this mean? Master your basic concepts like counting, the basic math operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The other mathematical concepts are built on these four operations. So these concepts along with different type of numbers, factors, LCM, and GCF make you ready for learning for learning fraction. Also, this multiplication table is still very important when you go to high school and college. Though you use calculator, but sometimes mastering your multiplication can even make you faster than the calculator. So, you really need to master these basic concepts and skills. Besides, some tests or assessments are not allowing the use of calculator. That is why knowing the basics is really a great deal or advantage. A math concept is the why or the big idea of math. So knowing a math concept means you know the process behind your answer. You know why and how you got your answer and you don't need to memorize or um, you don't need to memorize your answers or formulas to figure it out. Number two is ask questions. Don't be shy to ask questions from your teacher, from your classmate, friend, or family. Asking questions make you wiser. It helps you uncover the challenges you're facing and generate better solutions to solve those problems. So don't be shy, ask questions. Number three, self-study and practice. Using self-study, you will be able to go beyond simply learning in your class or on textbooks or from your teachers. By practicing self-study, you further explore topics that you are interested in and develop stronger study skills as a result. When you are able to solve a problem by your own, it gives you a wonderful feeling of accomplishment and independence, right? So, just like a famous saying, I want to say, try and try until you succeed. Number four, you apply math in your daily life. Mathematics makes your life orderly. Use your math skills in checking on your daily allowance, expenses, savings, bank account, and many more. Sometimes it may not be directly uh, or directly math that you are solving, but you can still apply the power of reasoning, creativity, abstract or spatial thinking, critical thinking, problem solving ability, and even effective communication skills. And those are all learned in math. And finally, Perhaps the most important reason to study math is because it builds problem-solving skills. So to make your math easy, set your mind positively on it. And remember the word easy, E, excel in your basic concepts. 
A. Ask questions. S. Self study and practice. And why you apply math in your daily life. So if you set your mind positively on math and do your part, you will make it. You can do it. You will be successful. My next videos will be strategies on how to solve basic math problems and basic English as well. So stay tuned. Bye.